Uh, welcome to the Bahamas. Now we're actually at Siswood for the Marathon Bet Cheltenham preview. I've got Josh and Tom alongside me and hopefully I get you a few winners. <laughs> Okay, let's have a wee look at the Albert Bartlett, uh, the Novice Hurdle, Friday, 2.50. It looks, well, I was going to say Commander of Fleet might be favourite, but this could be wide open. Could be very wide open. Um, Seven, eight to one the field. Yeah, I think it's a very hard race every year. It, the horses run well in this all year long, and three miles at Cheltenham is a whole different test altogether when it comes to it on the day, especially if the ground comes up soft, which it often does by this time of the week, you know. For some reason, that last day at Cheltenham, it can just change like that, and when it changes quick, the ground there, yeah. and you've just got to have on your side a horse that you know stays. For them young horses, it, it is that's what it comes down to. Yeah, race, so something a bit experienced. Tom, what do you know? Birchdale's got the breeding on his side to stay the three miles, and I definitely think you, you, you want something that's a big chasing type to win this, um, and he certainly is. So they've got to stay. Yeah, they have. So you might as well go for a, a little outside there, surely. Dicky Diver, if he turns up here, he won nicely at Chepstow the other day, and that's a stayers track. Yeah. He won with a bit in hand, uh, and I think he, he could be an interesting horse if he gets here on the day. Well, he might be 10, 12, so I'm going to have a little bit each way, Dicky Diver. Tom, what do you think? I'm going to go Birchdale each way at 10 Birchdale. And Josh, Dicky Diver? Dicky Diver, yeah. <laughs> So we're going to look at the big one with Marathon Bet, our Cheltenham preview. A cracker, the Cheltenham Gold Cup, uh, on the Friday, of course. Um, after last year, I can't see past presenting Percy, but people will tell me, will he get up the hill? You know, has he had enough runs this year? You know, we've hardly seen him, but my eyes told me yesterday he wins the Gold Cup next year. So I've got to stay with presenting. Yeah, I think that's a fair comment. And I love the way he won over hurdles at Goran in January. I know people may be concerned that he hasn't ran in the build-up to Cheltenham, but that he's trained by a man that knows how to get a horse A1 for, for Cheltenham on the big day. And he'd be ridden by Davy Russell. That in itself is worth a few pounds in hand around, around Cheltenham, I think. Yeah. What, uh, what about Mike Bite? Mike Bite, I... Too risky, you know? I think he's too risky. Nicky, uh, Nicky thinks he's coming back. He does. Um, I just wonder whether there's horses in, coming into the race in better form. Tom? Yeah, I don't think people have been giving Klander as a bow the sort of the respect that he deserves, especially after the, like the form of this year. Um, I just I think people, some people aren't saying that he's people are saying that he's not a Champion Gold Cup horse, but the way he's won this year and the form he's in and the form of Nichols's horses, I think he's coming there with every shot. I think we've looked past Native River quite sort of swiftly. Uh -huh. yeah, if um, the ground was to go up soft, I know obviously we were talking about. Is that a worry if, if, if we do have this balmy weather? Yeah, I think if, the, if, if, the, if, for example, we did get soft ground, I think Native River comes back straight back into it. He's an out and out stayer. What about Thistle Crack? I think he's so fast between his fences. If he puts in a, you know, a good jumping round, can he be there? He travelled real well into the, in, in the King George. He travelled real well into it, and I was really impressed that day the way he's actually come back. The three horses that I would strongly fancy any three of them is the three Willie Mullins horses. Ken Boy, El Boom Photo and Bells Hill. Tom, you pick first. Clenders are both. You're going for it. Yeah. I'm going to go, I'm going to stick with Percy, but you got me worried now. We've mentioned about 10. Exactly. That's how hard the Gold Cup is this year. <laughs> Winner, Josh? Presenting Percy. Bells Hill each way. Right. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That's our Cheltenham preview. Uh, Josh, Tom, good luck. Thank you very much. And um, fingers crossed, let's back a few winners.